Now we are going to change our fuel filter, which is located approximately uh, under where the driver sits. Um, it's bolted to the frame under there. And uh, this is uh, got the original one from the dealer there. And uh, the sizes um, on the fuel filter, on the filter itself, you get you hold it with one wrench while you loosen the um, fuel line with another wrench. Um, we don't even actually have the right size, so we're using this crescent wrench. But it's important to not damage the fuel line because that would be bad. So um, I'm using the flare nut wrench, 16 millimeter. Um, that's going to do a good job for us right there. And um, the, oh, and then the mounting bolt bracket for the filter itself is it, uh, held on with two 13 millimeter bolts. So we're going to use our ratchet with a three inch extension and a little. 13 millimeter socket to get the uh, mounting bracket off. Let's do it! Okay, so first I'm going to loosen up the bracket bolts here, the 13 millimeter bolts. The one on the bottom, there's another one on the top. This one. Gonna break these loose. Now. You gotta get ready for some gas to spill out. So you can actually see where somebody started to round this off because they weren't using the flare nut wrench on it. It's actually hard to get it on now. the gas it spills out. A little pressure in there still. It's better to do this when the vehicle's been sitting for a while. At least a few hours would be good so we don't have gas spraying all over. For a new filter and new gloves. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're getting rid of these. I don't want all the gas soaking into my skin. <laughs> okay. Now we're putting in our new filter. Um, need to pay attention to the direction of flow. Uh, the gas is going towards the engine, so flow is a uh, for the engine and that's the way you want to pointing then you want to slide it into the bracket uh, line it up with the, the line in the back and then the line in the front is flexible it's connected to a rubber hose so you can move it around and then get it into its bracket and then get it in line with the other side of the filter and now we can uh, tighten these lines in place go and check the rubber seals in there make sure those aren't damaged or deteriorated you can replace those at the same time although we aren't this time
lines don't have to be too, too tight, because otherwise you won't be able to get them off next time. So, got the line snug. Everything's back in place. Just gonna tighten the bracket. too tight because this is a plastic type of piece here. filter pointed uh, toward the engine the flow direction and uh, it's all snugged up and ready to go next what you want to do is you need to get the fuel flowing because a bunch of gas was lost when we took off the lines and took out the filter uh, so we need to build up pressure and we need to make sure that we don't have any leak so we're gonna turn the key on for two seconds and then we're gonna turn it off for 10 seconds and then turn the key back on without starting the vehicle that we're not starting just putting the key in the on position and then we're going to go underneath check and make sure that we don't have any leak Good, no leak. Yeah, good to go.